do this now because what happens is the longer you wait, the crowds get more and more you know, the, the pumpkin sure. patches get more and more crowded. For sure. I mean, the weather's still a little warm, but we just dress and we pretend. Bring a fan. And we, bring like, you know, bring a fan and some water <laughs> and it's fine. Um, the one, if you want the full-on pumpkin patch, whole nine yards experience, Dewberry Farm is a good bet. It's so great. Oh. So much fun. And one thing a lot of people don't know about Dewberry Farm is they actually have fireworks on some of the select Saturdays. Oh, cool. They're open till like, 9 o'clock. Okay. So if you're going to stay a little late, beat some of the crowds will be gone. You can go do the fireworks and get your pumpkin patches and your corn maze and all of the good stuff. And they have a giant corn maze there, right? Giant corn maze, and they also have something called Pumpkin Holler, which is a whole bunch of carved, lit pumpkins that you can kind of go through and see, get your inspiration for what you're going to do with that pumpkin when you get home. And this year's theme for the um, the corn maze is Tex-Mex? Yes, Tex-Mex. We'll see what that's all about. Okay, super <laughs> fun. Very nice. So for someone maybe who doesn't have time for that full farm experience, if they want to make a quick stop, you recommend St. Luke's. St. Luke's. Oh, this is perfect. my favorite. This is where all my pumpkin pictures are from, guys. Oh, that's my secret. Because you just, it's on Westheimer. It's yep. inside the loop. Can't miss it. You can it. get right there. There's beautiful trees. You can kind of cheat it and you can get that, like, where are you? You're like, oh, I'm off the side of Westheimer. Right. There are cars going by, but no one can tell. No one can tell. <laughs> and then also, that's, um, it goes to the Pure Sound. Their youth choir there is what the proceeds for that one go. And it's great because there's not an admission fee. You're just, the pumpkins that you buy, those proceeds go to support the exactly. youth choir. Exactly. So even if you just want to stop and take a picture and get out, that's fine too. They uh -huh. also have great wagons. So the bigger the pumpkin, you can, you know, position your wagon just right and then pay for it on the way out. It's fantastic. But that pumpkin pan uh, opens on October 5th, Monday through Sunday until October 31st at uh, St. Luke's. At St. So, Luke's, right. Okay, fabulous. And then if you still want to stay inside the Loop Bel Air, um, um, Nature Discovery Center has a festival on October 19th, which is super fun. It's free to get in, but then you're going to want to get all the little tickets and stuff so you can have play all the carnival games and all oh, the things fun. there. And then they have a little pumpkin patch where you can, you know, take your little pictures with covered in your face paint, which <laughs> is always fun. And you can go on a horse-drawn wagon ride. Around Bel Air, which, you know, when you're driving around, you're like, wait a minute, what's happening? Oh, it's a festival. That's what's happening. That is so <laughs> cool. I I've never done that. Okay, great photos, too, is uh, St. Andrew's. This is the Episcopal Church, the right? The Episcopal Church in Pearland, and they are known for their pumpkin patch. That's what they're known for. So if you want to go and check it out, they have a countdown on their website, because this is what they like to do. They're once-a-year thing. That's awesome. Very nice. St. Andrew's there. So for a real, authentic fall hayride experience, you You're have going a tip. to the old-time Christmas farm. I know it says Christmas in it, but, you know, they do other things there, too. So you can go there early and get your pumpkin patch, do your hay rides, get your pictures, all this good stuff there as well for North Houston. Festival Eats, inflatables, mini train ride. Entry there is 7 bucks a person? 7 bucks a person, and then I think some of the extras, you know, bring a little bit more if you're going to go on some of those rides and things like that. And that one is open Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays in October. So yes. plan it now. Go do it. Even though it's a little hot, you'll be glad you did. Yes. That's you. awesome. Amanda, it's always Always great seeing you and Thank sharing you. family friendly places in the Houston area at Mommy Nearest. If you want to connect with her, just click on the scene on Houston Life section of our website. Happy fall. Thank you. Thank you so much. It'll Appreciate cool it. off at some point. <laughs> Hang in there, Bring folks. Bring a fan. Up